What's happening folks? So I'm just about to finish up this super clean flux build 12S7P. Um, I've just plugged in the BMS, it's all connected up and I thought this is a really good time to have a quick chat about what you should expect, um, what your expected voltage you should be getting out of your battery um, for every P group of these well, in this case, molly cells, right? So um, these are 4.2 volts each, and this is a 12S configuration. So what we do is, so that means that uh, there's 12 um, groups in series, um, and at 4.2 volts, we multiply that across 12, gives us, theoretically, 50.4 volts of, of fully charged power across these um, batteries. Now, in reality, we don't necessarily always get there. It's because there's always some type of drift um, within a specific P group. You might have a cell that um, tends to charge uh, faster than the rest, um, but typically they all stay within a manufacturer tolerance, right? But what that means is that you'll get, uh, with, with a smart BMS, you'll be looking at it thinking, oh geez, I'm only getting 40.8 volts. Sorry, 49.8 volts or um, 49.2 volts. And when you uh, check on your Bluetooth on the BMS, you can see that one of the P groups has hit an overcharge limit versus the rest. So the BMS has done its job and said, hey, I can't charge this anymore. I've balanced it to the best of my abilities, but I'm gonna stop it right here. Just go out and write it. And when you plug it back into charge, it'll balance out again, right? And that's the purpose of the BMS. So you charge it up, it'll cut out when it thinks uh, it's right to do so. You can go out and ride it, and you might get drift every time you do that, and that's perfectly fine. Um, I'll include a link in this video that explains all that in a little more detail, and explains the complexity of the BMS in a little more detail, well, better than how I could explain it, right? But one thing I do want to point out is, um, if you have OCD and you want to make sure that all your P groups are um, balanced out, uh, there by default um, the settings on these are to balance only while charging, right? You shouldn't be balancing the static battery, uh, but you can change that in uh, config settings. So I'm going to zoom in to the config settings right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is a P group. This is the battery that I'm connected to right now. And we can see there, right? So there is a little bit of variance across all those P groups, but it's perfectly fine, right? Um, now we go into config and under here we have BMS settings, right? So this is the fully paid version of the app, which I'll put in the link to my video. So once you're in these settings, you can read BMS, and this will read all the default settings of the BMS, okay? So you'll see here, the important area to look at is this balancer configuration, right? This determines at what millivolts the balance will kick in. It'll determine the delta, so 15 millivolt difference per P group, that's the delta it's gonna to work towards. You can see that balancer it's enabled, so it's all good to go. And we're only balancing while charging, right? So, so if it, so, in theory, what will happen is when this battery is um, plugged into a charger, and the voltage of each P group it gets above three point nine. So remember, they're at three point five now. Then the balancer will kick in, and each P and the BMS will do the best they can to balance out all the P groups up until, it, in theory, it gets the 50.4 volts, right? So you, so you can tweak these settings to kick the balancer in a little bit earlier. Um, so from 3.9, you might kick it in, want to kick it in at 3.7, right? And obviously the earlier you kick it in, the more time um, you will have, the battery will have to balance out till it gets to the maximum voltage. Another neat setting is this balance only when charging. Now, 
you shouldn't have that disabled. It should always be enabled by default. But if it's in, if you've got a battery in storage and you've got OCD and you want to balance out all your P groups, you can enable balance only when charging and then adjust that star voltage. And whenever you change any of the settings within this app, um, you hit the BMS right and it'll write it back to the BMS and those settings will kick in, right? So I haven't changed anything. This is default settings. I tend to like to start my voltage at 3.8 as opposed to 3.9. So it gives my cells more time during its charge cycle to balance out. But right now there's no need to do anything. They're all at 3.5, right? So, so that's it there. So yeah, just a, a quick overview of this app. I'll include a link to the app. You can find it on the app store. I don't know the name of it actually. It's, um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. It's Xiong Yang BMS, right? I'll uh, write that out. But yeah, I hope this helps you guys in understanding that yeah, I get it. You should be at 50.4 volts, but it's not necessarily always the case. And don't be too disheartened if it never gets there. It might always be slightly under, right? And I know it's bloody annoying. It happens to me. Um, and I don't know why it happens really. Uh, maybe some folks that are smarter than me can comment below and um, shed some light on this as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope you find that useful. Hope you enjoy this um, battery building porn, right? And um, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Adios.